Municipalities in Japan are having trouble dealing with the dirty and potentially dangerous aftermath of the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Sludge, containing radioactive materials, has been building up at its sewage facilities. Half of it remains in storage despite the government's plan to bury it. NHK asked local governments in 17 prefectures in northeastern and central Japan how they're coping with toxic sludge. More than 54,400 tons of it has accumulated at wastewater treatment facilities. 75% of it contains less than 8,000 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium. That's the government set limit for disposal by burial. Still, 51% of the total has been kept in storage at water treatment plants. Local governments say one reason is because some burial projects have been rejected by residents who live near proposed sites. At a water treatment plant in Tochigi Prefecture, a large amount of contaminated sludge has accumulated and storage space is running out. The prefectural government has decided to keep it at six separate facilities. It explained the decision to residents through their community associations. Japan's Land and Infrastructure Ministry says waste should be disposed of at the site where it was generated. It also says it's considering supporting municipalities by sending its employees to briefing sessions for residents to educate them about the plans to get rid of the contaminated sludge. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is working on a new strategy to reduce radioactive releases from the plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it will start a direct treatment of contaminated gas in the reactors. Under the plan worked out with the government, gas will first be sucked from the reactor's containment vessels through existing pipes. It will then be filtered to remove cesium and other radioactive substances. Another project is underway to cover the number one reactor building with polyester sheets. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says multiple measures are needed to reduce the radioactive substances being released from the plant. The amount has decreased substantially since spiking sharply right after the accident, but the plant is still believed to be leaking radiation at a rate of about one billion becquerels per hour. But the plant is still believed to be leaking radiation at a rate of about 1 billion becquerels per hour. Some of the radioactivity is thought to be escaping from gaps created by explosions in the reactor's containment vessels. The government and TEPCO's timetable aims for steep cuts in the release of radioactive material by January 2012. Okay, so I've just wiped down the panels. This is what it looks like, and it's a little dirty from pollution. We have a quarry to the south south of us, so there's always a bit of dust. It's not actually the uh, the dirt that's radioactive. It's colorless. Um, if the, I had cleaned that panel pr previously before the rainstorm, um, I would have collected very little dirt. So now I'm on the scale times one. So let's see what that gives us. Okay, just peg the needle. Let's go second scale times ten. Let's let it uh, settle back down again. Uh, oh, peg the needle again. Let it settle down again. Uh, 
Let's try this again. There we go. And oh, we're actually a little h higher. Oh, this panel is actually much higher. That's uh, 200 times the 100 scale. So that's uh, 20,000 counts per minute. That's even higher than uh, the the first panel I washed. Wow. Wow. Oh, this beats the all-time record for sure, which was about 10,000 you know, a few months ago. Okay, and just to prove something, uh, on the back of the, uh, this, the the pancake Geiger tube, if I put the uh, the radioactive source, because it's not a gamma emitter or, or very weak, it barely uh, increases the, the counts per minute. So now I'm back to the times one scale. And you see I'm getting about 300. And uh, if I put my hand and cover it up, again, see, my hand's absorbing the radiation. So this is a, either an alpha or a weak beta emitter. I've tried it with an aluminum foil and stuff. It seems to be a combination of both. Oh, the rain's starting up again. Wow. So where is this coming from? I don't know. Fukushima? They're spiking in the clouds with uh, with radioactive isotopes to uh, do climate modification. I have no idea, but this is ridiculous. I mean, this is like crazy hot. If I were to wipe all the, the, the panels with one wipe, I would peg the needle on all three scales and then some. Uh, 20,000 for roughly one square meter wiped, because I can't really stretch my arm long enough to, to do the entire panel. But uh, that's what we're looking at. That is crazy. And I'm just north of Toronto. In the wake of criticism of Japan's nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency will seek regular checkups of nuclear regulators in member nations. The agency publicized the plan on Monday. The IEA met in Vienna in June following the Fukushima Daiichi accident. Members agreed to improve the response to nuclear crises and ensure the safety of nuclear power. The IEA worked out the new plan as part of such efforts and presented it to member countries. The plan outlines a series of measures in 10 areas. These include assessments of safety measures taken by nuclear regulators every 10 years and, if necessary, additional checkups in three years. The draft also proposes the IEA organize an independent group of experts to regularly assess nuclear reactor designs and measures to cope with critical accidents. The draft will be submitted to the IEA General Assembly in September after it's reviewed by member states. It's <laughs> so funny now. I sometimes just think funny things. <laughs> Electric power company or TEPCO is planning to use devices to remove salt from spent nuclear fuel pools at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The operator says that salt water used to cool reactors 2 to 4 after the March disaster could corrode stainless steel pipes and pool walls. The new equipment uses special membranes and electricity to desalinate the water. Tepco Plaster first used the machine by the end of this week at the number 4 reactor, which contains the most spent fuel. The concentration of salt is expected to be reduced by 96% in two months. Work will then start in reactors 2 and 3. Another device that uses the mineral zeolite to remove radioactive substances from circulating water has been installed in the cooling systems of the number two to four reactors. Through such measures, TEPCO says it hopes to maintain stable operation of the plant until all the spent fuel is removed. <laughs> oh, why is the world jam-packed with such idiots?